Act is an enduring problem, but this morning there's some good news. A program helping people living rough to get to, into their own accommodation is celebrating a small but important milestone. In the space of three years, Platform 70 has managed to get 100 people in inner Sydney into sustained housing tenancies, and it says with more funding, it believes it could ease the strain on government services even more. Simon Santo reports for AM. Aye? Aye? Yeah. No, sorry. Even in the depths of despair, Tony Tohoro turned to music to make life on the streets more bearable. Might be better if I just sing to you, my brother. Singing, he says, is good for the soul and the heart. We're all misunderstood. They say we stand for nothing else. There's no way we ever could. Tony Tohoro says music is still saving him long after escaping the streets and having a place with a roof to call home. I've gone gone back to TAFE, I'm studying music and I'm doing Cert 3, I just passed Cert 2 and I'm hopefully going to go through to do diploma. He's one of more than a hundred success stories in a program which is funded by state and federal governments under the National Partnership Agreement on Homelessness. John Nicolades is the CEO of Bridge Housing. We want to try and get people back to their life and, as a musician would say, back into the world. To move them from where they are, living on the street, to place them in some permanent accommodation and to allow them to deal with whatever is bedeviling them. Many of uh, the 105 people that we've um, housed have got mental health problems, depression, acute physical health problems. This is a way of stabilising them. We're using the philosophy of a housing first program, that is we want to get people into some affordable, permanent, secure accommodation and then working with NEMI National who provide the support services to help them get their life in order. The program succeeds by harnessing the private rental market. Bridge housing houses around 2,700 uh, uh, families and, and people in around 1,600 uh, properties and we operate from the City of Sydney out to the City of Parramatta and we are very focused on working in areas which uh, where we have the least affordable housing um, in Sydney. There's a part of me that feels guilty because I'm in downtown Rose Bay and if you look out my bathroom window I'm looking at Sydney Harbour which is pretty damn good. So to me it's a start, it's a beginning. The rest is up to me, the onus is on me to grow up as a man and uh, move forward. The newly housed pay 25% of their income in rent. The rest is subsidised by the program. Tony Tohoro says slowly but surely it's helping him beat all of his addictions and weaknesses. It's the beginning of changing who I was into who I want to be. Um, the streets were a horrible feeling but, but there was no one else's fault but me. On and off I've had jobs in the mines, I've worked in the army as a, as a foreman, I've done a lot of great things and I still went back to the streets. They found places that are really, really decent and they gave me the faith to say, look, you might fall over but we want you to get stronger and to, um, to move forward and try and grow up a bit and, and just um, try and be a part of society, just be normal. So here I am. Formally